Hi, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would rate my, one of my favorite houses of all time. And as you can see by the title, that is Mason Francis Kirkshawn. I have five bottles here, so I thought I'd let you know rating from like five to one, which is like my absolute must favorite to my least favorite. I mean, obviously I love them all because I bought them, but if you want to see, please keep watching. So the first one I have here is actually Gentoo Fluidity Gold. Now, the only reason why this is in my number five spot is because to me, it is, it's very sweet. So I'm not the biggest fan of super sweet perfumes, but this is done so elegantly. The projection, the sillage is amazing. I've had people compliment me on this so much. Um, one, one time I went to get food and the girl taking my order was like, do you mind if I ask you like what you're wearing? You smell so good. <laughs> so she could smell me like from the counter. There was like a good amount of distance between us and she could still smell me. Um, but yeah, no, like this is, I feel like a beast. If you love vanilla and like gourmandish type of fragrances, you're really gonna enjoy this. And I will say, I think it's completely worth the price. I feel like this house, to be honest, is one of my favorite houses because I think that for the money that you pay, you get like great presentation, great longevity, great sillage. Like I feel like Francis Kirkshawn really puts thought and effort into every single perfume I feel like he produces which, and I feel like you can tell, you can tell by the bottle, you can tell by the cap. It's like a really heavy, sturdy cap. And compared to some other houses that I have in my collection, I feel like the price point and everything is warranted what you get. So like, I think any perfume you get from him is just A1. But this is Gentle Fluidity Gold by MF. And in my number four spot, this is, I'm gonna butcher this, Feminine Perel, Perel, I don't know how you say that, but this was actually my very first MFK purchase ever. This was the one that I fell in love with that made me fall in love with the house. And it's just this gorgeous, soapy, clean floral. I mean, there's like, there's like iris in here that gives it like a little, I believe there's iris in here. It's like a little powdery, but it definitely has like that really soapy, clean floral to it. That's why I love it so much because again, I love fresh. And when I bought it, it wasn't a very um, popular perfume. Like when I bought it, Baccarat Rouge was kind of like, I mean, it still is, but that one was the one that was kind of like in the forefront for this fragrance house. And then I don't know what happened. It's like everyone just discovered it. And I know now it's completely sold out. I get quite a few comments on this on my TikTok on like where I bought it, if I like it, how it lasts. To be honest, this has really great longevity and really great projection. Um, before I bought this, I bought like a decant and I was testing it. And this was like three years ago. And through it was like, I tested on a really humid day as well. And throughout the entire day, I kept getting whiffs of it, like all of the time. And even now, if I spray it and I leave my room and I come back like an hour, two hours later, I can still smell it in the air, which is phenomenal. And it just smells like, like a just, classy and elegant and I feel like it's something I feel you could wear to like have brunch with like the girls you could wear this to church you could wear this to the office to school I feel like it's a very pretty and feminine smell that's exactly 
what comes to mind. Just a very soft-spoken, girly type of girl. That's kind of what comes to mind with this fragrance. And I love it for those days I'm feeling more girly <laughs> than normal. Or I want a really good floral perfume that I know is going to like project and do well. Um, then I would reach for, as you could see, I've used, I've put a dent, I have a dent in all of my MFK perfumes. Every single one of my MFK perfumes all have a dent in it because I like wearing them. But you should really check this out. So worth the price. I love this juice. It's so good. So let me know if you've smelt it or if you like it, if you want to get your hands on it and it's sold out, let me know. And in my number three spot, would this even be an MFK rating? if I didn't include Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> Would it even be an MFK rating if I didn't? Okay, so this is Baccarat Rouge 540. Everyone and their mom has this perfume, okay? This kind of doesn't really need much of an introduction. It's sweet, it's airy. It, some, it's a little medicinal. Some people say it smells like a dentist office not sure <laughs> what that is supposed to mean but it's like oh it's hard to describe this fragrance because it just smells it's like sweet and airy is like the only thing that i could i could describe it as sweet airy and like a tad bit medicinal now this does play like mind games on me so like sometimes i can smell it Sometimes I can't. I have gotten tons of compliments on that. You could see I've kind of wore down my bottle. I have gotten a lot of compliments on this of people asking me like what I'm wearing, that I smell so good. Um, so I know that obviously it's projecting and people can smell me. I just can't personally smell myself. Now this is quite expensive and I know there is a lot of dupes out there. I think the best dupe I have smelled so far is cloud is a really good dupe when i have cloud um red temptation i believe from zara that is like the opening of that is so close to this it's scary like it's really good the only issue why i actually didn't buy it is because on my skin it turned like chemically like after it dried down on my skin personally it smelled so weird i do want to test it again like i want to buy a roller ball and just see if i don't know if it was just like the client like i don't know what it was but i do want to test it again but it was like the i feel like red temptation in my opinion is closer to a dupe than cloud and also i have an oil perfumery dupe but that one is um bacot rouge the x date i believe it's called so it's not this one exactly it's like the one in like the really red bottle and that one smells pretty close but that one is a lot sweeter than Baccarat Rouge's more airy um but yeah I feel like this is really need an introduction longevity everything is great I feel like everyone already knows about this it's in my number three spot because I have two other perfumes that I actually love way more than this although this is like tried and true and just one of those perfumes that never let me down if I don't know what, what perfume to wear that day. But if you haven't smelled it, you can always get like samples and stuff on the MFK website, which is great because you get to pick four and you don't have to pay any duties or any taxes, which is awesome. And you get you get to use the, the voucher that whatever you pay for the um, sample set towards to take a discount off of a fragrance that you want. So that's amazing too. But yeah, if you want to smell it you should make sure you actually like it um but yeah i'll definitely be repurchasing another bottle because i do love the way that smells and it's one of those sweet perfumes that i can actually tolerate so okay yeah. in my second place i actually have ayla rose oh my okay this is embarrassing but not sure if you could see that but it's there's nothing <laughs> There's like barely anything. We're probably looking at like is that five mils in there, <laughs> five milliliters in this bottle. And oh my gosh, I don't even want to spray it because I'm like holding on to the juice for dear life. Okay, dear, I'm gonna just like spray like a little. Let's see. 
Okay. Oh my God. Okay. So I love this perfume so much because it is so nostalgic for me. And I think that's why I love it so, so much. Growing up, my mom always, like in the summertime, she always had a garden. She, oh, she loves loves planting flowers and things like that it's actually something that she got from my grandfather because they used to plant together she said when she was like a little girl so growing up when i was a little girl my mom planted flowers all of the time and it always just reminds me of you know me like watching her plant the flowers and watching them grow and like smelling them in the air when we would come outside or we would pass the garden or if it rained the, the smell of like the wet flowers in the air is like what it smells like. And it is just such a soft and pretty scent that it's hard not to like. And even if you don't like roses, I feel like this is a rose that I think if I was to recommend one rose, this would be it just because of how soft but like subtle, but like realistic it smells. It smells so realistic. Like you're running through the most gorgeous garden. Like the, think about the most gorgeous garden that you can think of and that's what this smells like. And I'm obsessed and I need a new bottle. Again, when I bought this, it really was not that popular. Now I could see a lot more people, it like in YouTube videos and stuff, a lot of people do talk about it, which I'm like, no, no, it was mine for like two and a half years. Now everyone knows about it. But it's really good if you like florals, please check it out. And it comes in a smaller 35 ml if you don't want to spend um, the money for this full 70 ml. And my number one, of all number ones because it's just that good and if i had to like narrow my collection down which would be painful and please do not make me do that if i had to though it like all comes down to this perfume okay and this is grand soir by mfk and when i tell you this is the best scent I've smelt in my entire life. Okay, it is vanilla booze in the best way possible. And every time I see someone talk about this, it's usually men. And I don't understand it because this is like Grant said, I do understand <laughs> why, because it definitely leans more masculine in that sense, but oh my God, it's like this sexy, boozy, androgynous, sensual smell. I mean, oh my God, if I went on a first date with some guy and he was wearing this, I would be like, oh, he has good taste. Oh, he has good taste. <laughs> beast mode, like I mean, beast mode. It is just delicious. I mean, like, um, I can't even explain how phenomenal. Oh my God, that freaking good. And if you haven't smelled it, like don't walk, run to smell this because it's phenomenal. It was all of my MFK fragrances that I have. So please let me know if you have any of these fragrances or if you have one of the fragrances from mfk that you really really love and enjoy i have like three more that i really want to get my hands on from mfk it's one of my favorite houses um but thank you so much for watching this video please make sure you like subscribe comment also follow my social media handles i will put them again somewhere on the screen um i post fragrances on fragrance videos on TikTok and Instagram. So if you want to see what I post there, please go check it out and okay. Bye.